Hey, what's up, everybody? Wee Man here with another episode of Little Revolution. Woo! Of course, my buddy, Poncho Muller. What's up, guys? How we'll, are you? We'll always be here, too. Yes, because <laughs> this is our show. Ours? Us? Yeah. You, me. Me, you. We're, there, we're making a, magic, baby. There's a you. We're finally making magic. There's a you in our. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we call this bareback magic. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, our guest today is a super skateboard legend. I've known him for years. Oh, yeah. He was a big influence on my first huge sponsor. Well, no, I had Sonic first, but he uh, he got me on Dogtown. And he's a legend skateboard. He's been skating since he was like six, seven years old. Pro, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Start off with Logan Skateboards. Yeah. He He was ripping... When the guys now ripping were still like in diapers. Yeah. But he was, you know, same age as them, but they were wearing diapers. Yeah, he was <laughs> ripping when like uh, me and you were still in our parents' balls. Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> let's give a big warm welcome balls. to yeah. Hall of Fame skater, legend skater, Eric D. Woo! Eric Dresson. Woo! What's up, Eric? How are you, bud? Super nervous. <laughs> Super nervous? <laughs> As I'm so excited. Uh, okay, okay, that's good. I'm glad you're excited. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Dude, yeah. We it. we've been wanting you ever since the we first started. But yeah, he always he always brings you up. Yeah. It's rad that you guys skate all the time together. We do. We still do to this day. Eric at one point even lived with me. Okay. Yeah. We were we were in Hermosa Beach? No, this was when I lived in Torrance. Okay. I, I had an apartment with another guy and Eric moved in too. I lived on the couch. The uh, roommate style. <laughs> Yeah, full I love full roommate Those were style. the good days. Skateboarding man. roommate style. Yeah. Eating each other's food and shit. <laughs> I, I, would make, I would cook every night. So oh, yeah. man. Mm. That's good. Yeah. He would be, he said, he goes, can I stay with you guys? I'll make dinner every night. <laughs> oh, that's And bad, I was like, dude. hell yeah. So how have you been, bud? What's been going Super on? Super good. Just been hanging out with you. Yeah. We <laughs> have been. Skating, going to the spa. Yeah. Going out Did to you Japanese just say going food? to the spa? Yeah. <laughs> You guys go to the spa together? We're spa buddies. We do go to the spa together. And what's crazy is when I found out he was going to the spa, I had already been going. We go to those like, um, they're, they're Japanese. Like a bathhouse? Kind of bathhouse, Japanese, yeah. Korean spas. They're in every area has them. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I bet you those, those Japanese <laughs> bug out on you, man. Oh, they trip out. But they love they're me. like, oh, yeah, we him. miss here. They love me. Oh, man. absolutely. At every single one, I get, I get pals. But the what I was going, because this girl at one time uh, said, we should go to this spot. I never knew like what they were. Where I'd pass by them all the time and not know what they were. And so we went. And then I started going by myself. And one day, all of a sudden, in the steam room, it's all steamy, mm. <laughs> real nice, bunch of naked dudes. This is like a setup for a sitcom, right? Yeah, here, this is a sitcom. <laughs> and Eric walks in, and I know Eric's like structure and walk, and I saw him pass the glass. And when he walked in, I'm like, Psh, you don't <laughs> skate. <laughs> and he's like, who's this? <laughs> and you guys were both like in towels or shorts? Or no, what? not even. You're just... You're full nude, naked. naked. You're naked, oh, naked. Not towel. even a towel. Well, you, you, get, a you, you get towels you and little, you throw a little towel. There are little di- towels. You got a little around. dick towel. Mm. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah, just. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I could do it without a dick towel. <laughs> Why? You nervous? <laughs> nah. Yeah, yeah. I'm it gonna, is, yeah. It is. I, I would be nervous. Like Japanese bathhouses and Korean spas, like it's a tradition to walk around naked. Okay. Because I think. I don't know, the towels and clothes, they don't want to mess up with the hot tubs and stuff, the mm-hmm. chlorine. Yeah, mm-hmm. the pools, the time. I did one in, um, when I went to, uh, where was I? Taiwan. Yes. I, I, I went to like a, a bathhouse there and it was like full on, like I got like the, the, the package deal. What do you mean the package deal? Like there was like, I, I, I went into like uh, three different like tubs. One was like a cold one, one was like a, a warm one, then there was like a steam room. Yeah. yeah, and then and then, the and then they had like a whole like salt one, like an Epsom salt one. Yeah, and then you end it with like this kung fu instructor just massaging the shit out of you, man. It was amazing. That's what we do. We just don't get the massage okay. part at the end. But yeah, yeah I go. We both. You go full hot room sauna. Yeah, yeah, the hot. Then room, you go yeah. into the cold pool to cool off. 
You get out, and then I go into the steam because yeah. it's a different like heat, and back into the cold pool. And when you leave, like. I made this dude go for like like three hours one time. <laughs> he goes, dude, I almost fell asleep on the road driving uh, home. Like oh, driving. Yeah, no, yeah. It, put, it knocks it, you out. Like, yeah, so yeah. We, we have to watch. You feel time. good. You feel good. You oh, got a good night's sleep that night. Yeah, dude. He, he he hits this the sauna hard. I yeah. can't keep up. When I mean, did you ever in. tell me about this? It's this like thing you're you're like all like like braggy about like the <laughs> yoga every day. I did yoga. I did yoga today. <laughs> But the, the bathhouse, this is yeah. something that we could do together. I didn't know you wanted to go. Eric and I go all yes. the time. Now I know why. Because he's your bathhouse buddy <laughs> yeah. and slappy buddy. And I'm just like the dude here that chimes in. At the little <laughs> there, is, there is actually one up here, but it's not that good. Yeah. There's so, some in Korea. That's, yeah. Oh, you guys do the one in Korea town? No. Okay. No, no, no. We go in Torrance. Okay. There's one in Torrance. That's the one. That, that's spot. the one that you started off at. Yeah, that's, that's the one we OG met at. Okay. And then since we both moved to Orange County, now we go to the one in uh, Irvine. Okay. So we go there. That's nice, man. But the one in Torrance, that one fucking rules. Yeah. Okay. It's man yeah. leisure stuff. Dude, yeah. But mm. like, they're not all run by like, like Asian people, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, is there's that, it's there, that, like okay. There's one up here I've gone to. It was run by Russians. Mm. And, I could see yeah. that. And when I went to totally it. Totally see that. Dude, when I went to it, they have this area where everybody like is in the sauna area. And a dude comes around with eucalyptus leaves. And he goes, you want the leaves? And you lay down on your stomach. And he just like beats your back with them. Like boom, 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 boom. And it gives that eucalyptus smell. I love your, the smell of eucalyptus. And your back opens up, and you oh. leave. You go outside from there, and you're done, dude. You're like, okay. you're done. And that's one of my favorite ones. So, yeah, man. Yeah, no, we'll go. I yeah, didn't know you were. I didn't know you would be into it. So we we invite people all the time, no one's down. and no one's down. Mm. Everybody gets weirded out. Really? Yeah, people well, get weird. We go early in the morning, so we're the only guys there, and maybe a couple little. Older gentlemen are there, but they they got their horse blenders on, and it's just yeah, right. yeah. So we'll bring you one time. Yeah, it's I feel fun. like it would be a good thing to do at night. No, night's a different story. <laughs> oh, <it's> night, <laughs> when the... night gets weird. The hanky panky hang starts. That's to happen that's what we're starting to hear lately. Oh no! So... <laughs> <laughs> Eric went the other night. He thought it was gonna be. Remember? Tell tell the story. Yeah, come on, I dude. Want to tell the story. Yeah, you gotta tell the story. Right. Yeah, so I just got back from Japan, and I was doing all the sentos, the bathhouses there. So I'd go every day to the old, like hundred year old bathhouses there. And I got home, and I was like, couldn't sleep. So I was like, I'll just hit the spa tonight and get all tired and go home and be able to sleep because I couldn't sleep. And I went and I walked in. It was packed. And then I just kept my head down. And I was like, yeah. and I looked up and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I was like, it was Boys Day. And yeah, I can. Boys Day is like <laughs> Boys Town. Yeah, it was Boys Town. Well, like yeah. everyone's walking around with like a. No, they're touchy feely. It was touchy feely. Oh. It was touchy feely <laughs> there. Mm. Get Someone little... try to hold your hand or something. <laughs> <laughs> like fresh meat. <laughs> they got a new there go that. You didn't let it get that far. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know. Yeah, all right. To each his own, you don't... Yeah, we don't go during those hours. Yeah, you just know what times to go at, and you don't stay away from the nighttime. We go with the old dudes. I guess I just thought, like, because you feel so tired afterwards and so good that you, you know, that you can just literally pass out, you could be a good night's sleep. Yeah, no, you do. You should come. It's good. Oh, like, go at night and yeah, then yeah, just go straight home. Yeah, crash. yeah, it would be good to do it that way, but it depends on what days you go on. <laughs> so... But uh, off topic, let's hit, <laughs> let's get back into skateboarding. <laughs> uh, the craziest thing I noticed last year, and I brought it up to Eric because you were going to talk about it. I didn't want you to bring it up yet, and I wanted you to hear it on the podcast. Last year, Eric had three different pro models out for three different brands. Mm. And I'm like, dude, you're killing the game right now. He at the one, same time? At the same time. He was selling boards for three different companies. Wow. Which companies? Probably Santa Cruz, Dogtown, and then I had a guest model on Heroin. 
and has like a, one of the heroin egg. Models. Oh, heroin. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Who skates for heroin? They got a couple of dudes. Oh, that dude. Is it an LA team or is it? Swampy rides for him. Tim. Tim. Yep. Tim, the filmer. Uh, I and can't think of his last name because he goes by so many nicknames. Mm, Bail. Yeah, Bail Gun. Tim yeah. Bail Gun. That's pretty cool. So you had three different models. Mm. So is that like you're, you board sale? Board sale royalties? That's kind of yeah. what you're getting? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. I was like, dude, that's a great day at the mailbox. You know what I mean? Up, oh, Dogtown check, Santa Cruz check, heroin check. <laughs> I'm like you really and so <laughs> what the company you skate for is Santa Cruz. Yeah, main So is Santa Dogtown Cruz. a branch off of Santa Cruz? No, it's independent from it. Still, Jim Mir still runs it and stuff, but they just run like my reissue boards, my original model, couple of models, and they still do that. That's really cool, yeah. man. Yeah. So it's funny. Back in the old days, I rode for Dogtown, quit, then rode for Santa Cruz, and then years later, now I'm back with Santa Cruz and Dogtown. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's like, I don't know anybody who's running a skate game like that. Mm -hmm. Well, Air working D. it, working it. Yeah. Salad grinds, you invented the salad grind. Yeah. So how did that come about? Like, like, why, why, why was it called a salad grind? Um, I think because Kevin Thatcher was there. The okay. Editor of Thrasher Magazine. He coined the name salad grind. Originally, like, I think we had been skating with uh, Omar back in the 80s, and he was doing, we'd always skate mini ramps with him, and he was doing these little backside tweaker grinds. Oh, the backside ones like that. Yeah, and okay. they come in, and I think I, we were at a mini ramp one day, me and Hasoy and Oster and everybody, and we're all learning them backside. And, like, right when we were about to leave, I was like, oh, I should try it front side. And then I left, and then the next couple of days, I went to Vancouver for this mini chin mini ramp contest and I was like oh yeah I never tried it front side and I went and did it front side that's pretty in cool. practice and I thought it was kooky and I was like I'm never doing that again and then I went home and then I went to Frisco I was staying with Tommy Guerrero and him and Bryce had a mini ramp and I was like oh I should try it again and I was doing them and they shot photos and that's such a stylish trick yeah, and then Kevin Thatcher was there and he coined salad grind I called it a windshield wiper oh really yeah because <laughs> it was like I like salad grind yeah. better. Now, salad grinds, I uh, I used to do them too. And, um, but the way I did them was I would go up on the mini ramp and, and already be in it. Yeah. You know, and, that, and then I remember watching Mike Carroll do them on mini yeah, ramp. Mike and he Carroll's would 5-0 grind and then turn it his into a salad, sick. which was pretty dope. Yeah. I just only, I learned it the other way. So I just did it that way and then yeah. I would come in. Yeah. But uh, th I guess there's different ways of doing it. I think it. I just came in and then we went kind of right into it. I liked it because yeah. it looked like like a f like it felt like almost like you were doing a frontside blunt slide if yeah. you're like mm -hmm. locked in yeah, that before, way. Yeah. And I feel like it, you could you could you could uh, grind way longer than do a frontside blunt slide. Yeah, totally. you know. Uh, at first, I didn't like it. I thought it was kind of kooky, and then it reminded me of these pictures of me in the '70s. And I like, because I was so little, I had a hard time getting up to grind. Yeah. And it was kind of, it's not a slash grind, and my board was all stuck up. So I was like, oh, I don't like it. It reminds me of that picture. But then after I saw the pictures that Bryce took and stuff, I was like, oh, that's sick. Did you did you skate with Nautis back in the day? Oh, back yeah, when totally. he when, when he came out with the Streets of Fire part? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's dope. Because I lived in Santa Monica. He was Venice. one of my favorite skaters at, at one gnarly. point, like, you know. As far as like having like groundbreaking parts. Oh yeah, Streets of Fire is one of the best videos. And the and it had such good music too. Yeah, it was a big oh, music. Was that was that skate rock? Was that what that was? No, there was they, skate rock was all the Thrasher. Okay. Videos was it and stuff. Fire hose or something. Fire hose, Minutemen. Yeah. All those bands were in the in. Uh, yeah, I think in his part. Yeah, yeah, yeah he had uh, yeah he had fire hose. Yeah. Brave captain. Yeah. We we yeah. had another guest. Uh, few days ago um christopher heat height, height. christopher height <laughs> christopher. god why did i fuck that up man <laughs> we'll edit that out um, no we won't we're keeping that right <laughs> in. yeah uh, you went but we had him that. and um and i was watching some of his stuff and he he he's very like nostalgic and he like and it's kind of cool to see a guy a kid so young like oh, yeah. giving so much respect to like 
like where skateboarding like began and came from. Yeah. And so I went back and like watched like Shackle Me Not, Hocus right. Pocus, and I was like, oh man, like I mean I didn't go back. That's as far as I went back, but it was uh it yeah, was a good he's time. He's gnarly. Like, he was doing gnarly shit on like the reissue Steve Saez board. Like gnarly shit. Yeah, he's, like, he's, he's sick. He's pretty pretty good, man. He's a ripper. That's why I brought him on. Yeah. Yep. Um so Eric, uh before we moved in, everything after I was on Sonic and I was just skating for fun, Eric was at Vans one day and it was the second go of when Eric was on Dogtown. Mm -hmm. And him and Jim Muir were looking for new riders during this time. And they went to Vans, and I'd been going to Vans a bunch lately. This was when Vans Orange first opened up. Okay. And I loved the park. I drive there like every Tuesday and Thursday, or every Monday. I, yeah, I think it's Tuesdays and Thursdays, because Mondays and Wednesdays was BMX. So I was there, and one night Eric came. I skated with him a little bit, and then like I was leaving, and Eric's like, hey, we've been here, we've been watching you and stuff. You want to get on Dogtown? And I'm like, dude, I would love to get on Dogtown. That's rad. So that's where I got on Dogtown. When you guys were living together? No, it was way before. Oh, it was like before, right after you got on Sonic. 2000. Did, no, this was 98. That was 98? 98, dude. Was that? Because we started mm. filming Jackass in 99. Really? Mm. And then 2000, yeah. So it was 98. Yeah. And you got your first pro model. Yeah, first pro model. So you didn't have a pro, pro model on Sonic? Nope. And what happened with Sonic? Did that go It kind of just went under. Okay. Yeah, and then I was like, fuck, I wasted my time on that brand. You know, because I was ready to go then, and it just never happened. You got some good friends out of it, though. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. It wasn't yeah. a total waste. It wasn't a total waste. Charlie Watts. You got, uh, you got a front side no slide ad? I got a front side no slide ad. No dangling. Yeah. No dangle. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares if there's a little gotta, dangle in I it? I got to tease you, buddy. <laughs> no, but yeah, that's that's where it happened. And then from then on, Eric stayed for a little while. We were doing good on Dogtown. And then it was kind of like we started filming Jackass. And when we started filming Jackass, he was like, oh, I'm going back to Santa Cruz. So he broke up with us. And I was a little heartbroken then. Uh, so. And then yeah, and then he so came back. When you had the uh, the three pro models, mm -hmm. did you just have three different boards that you would skate? Uh, no, I just ride my Santa Cruz board. Oh, uh, yeah. were they all? <laughs> I had like a oh, guest okay. model. Yeah. Okay, my heroin board was just a guest model. Were they were they all the same shape? No, well, my shape. I ride like a ninety one type updated, like old ever slick shape. Right, my pro model on Santa Cruz, and then Dogtown does. Does that have a nose? Yeah. Okay, it has yeah. a nose. I ride a regular concave, and then. Dogtown just reissues my original board, but then my first pro model, which is on a flat board. That's so yeah. cool. Yeah. His original one is crazy. It's almost Chris Heights board, almost is pretty similar mm -hmm. to it, but updated. Okay. Of his like OG board. Okay. Yeah. It's so does cool. that have a tail that kind of goes yeah. out? Yeah, the fish yeah. tail. Fish tail. Thing. Yeah. Yep. Um, so. If you could move somewhere today, mm -hmm. if someone's like, hey, Eric. No, you know the answer. <laughs> well, the world doesn't. I want the world if I, yeah. someone's like, the Eric. World, yeah. yeah, the world needs to know. Yeah. Eric, we're going to get you a place anywhere you want to go. Where would you go? Japan. Japan, huh? Yeah. Why is that? What, what's, I just, uh, what's, I just, what's so uh, rad about the Japan? Bathhouses. <laughs> the bathhouses. I'll go with the bathhouses first. <laughs> Actually, the yeah, and, and that's food why I, probably. The food, amazing. No, food. I just love Japan. I've been just going there for the last probably ten years. I went there in the eighties and the nineties, but then I didn't really get to experience it. And then probably two thousand eleven, twelve, I started going there to tattoo, and I'd stay for months at a time, and I just fell in love with it. I feel like I'm at home there. I just feel like. Oh. Here. Wait, you said tattoo. Yeah, I tattoo. You, you, you tattoo. That's yeah, another I mean, thing. You, I have no idea. Uh, That's dope. I've been tattooing for the last 20 years. Holy shit. Yeah. Man, what, like, when did you start that? Because that was after Dogtown. What, tattooing? But, yeah. Uh, relatively, like right after I was living with you, I started working at Big Daddy's in Harbor City. I started being like the shop helper around At there. Big Daddy's? Yeah, like right, right after okay. that. Okay, I know where that's at. Yeah. On PCH. Yeah. yeah. So shop helper, helper, shop helper mm -hmm. kind of. Yeah. Like moved to like becoming an, an apprentice. Yeah, or somebody. I moved up. I learned all. I did, was a shop helper for a 
couple of years, and then I moved up to an apprenticeship with this guy Jiro, a Japanese tattooer out of Little Tokyo. So I apprenticed with him for a couple of years and then started tattooing. Now, being that like the, tattooing is one of the things where you make your money, right? No, no, it was for a while, but then, I don't know, I just, one day I just decided, I was, my friend Bennett called me, like probably around 2015, he's like, let's go skate, and I was like, all right, and I did work Yeah, because my question was going to mm -hmm. be like, if that was the way where you, did that make you become more cautious when you were skateboarding because i know musicians that i knew yeah. that were good they were like oh i can't do it if i break my hand like i i'm done i'm done with the band yeah. <laughs> so if i worried about that then i'd definitely get hurt yeah so, got like, it. i never thought about it but yeah and then so i've been tattooing yeah i'd go the go to japan tattoo and i came home and then one day like because I was working for like almost 10 years every day at tattoo shops, six days a week, skate a couple of days a week. And then Bennett hit me up. He's like, let's go skate. And I was like, I played hooky from work, went and skated. And it was so fun. Went out to eat that night. And I was like, next day, I was like, go to work, go skate. I was like, I want to go skate. Yeah. And then a couple of days later, I packed my shit up. And after that, I just did guest spots here and there and just focused only solely on skateboarding. So how long have you been skating for? Probably um, since 1975. Holy shit. Yeah. And I was probably eight years old, entered my first skateboard contest, 75, and then got sponsored by Logan Erski and got in Skateboarder Magazine summer of 77. And then wrote for the original Alva Company summer of 78. Was that with Tony Alva and yeah, everybody? The original one, yeah. Okay. Yeah. When, like, if you watch Lords of Dogtown, when he starts Alva, I got real for that Alva company. Wow. Yeah. So good. And then I got out of skateboarding around 81. Skateboarding just died. I, yeah, I was reading that. Skateboarding yeah. died. Just died. Like, one day I was just dead. And I, I was a little, still a little kid, and I didn't know what to do. So I tried surfing. I tried bicycle racing. And then... BMX? Uh, or, like... Road bikes and velodrome racing. Oh, uh, yeah. Velodrome Tri racing? Yeah, I raced the Encino Velodrome. I was no horrible. way, I, was, I never knew about that. Yeah. I did that for a couple of years. And then I think I was right out of high school or in high school. I went, I got sent to continuation and there was a couple of stoner kids there that skated. Like they're the only people I knew. I was like, oh. So I used to go smoke weed with them. The one kid had a quarter pipe and I'd borrow their boards and rip on them. I still had it or whatever. And then, yeah. then one of them got me a job working as Aunt's Deli and I'd ride his board around doing deliveries and I was like my first paycheck I went and bought a Alva board and then somehow like I, I met up with Alva and then it was right when they were about to start filming thrashing and I met up with Alva again and that's where I met Nautis and Jesse Martinez and everybody mm. started hanging out in Venice and met up with Hosoi again and just started skating and everything from there. Is that back when the jump ramps yeah. were all jump ramp going things. against the walls? Jump and, ramp wall rides. Yeah. yeah. How big were those walls on the wall rides? There, we, there was the one real big wall. Yeah. That we'd put the pretty big quarter pipe or jump four foot jump ramp, and everybody was like, ah, "I'm going to go the highest." No, yeah, I'm yeah. Go highest. So. Was that like a twenty foot wall? Yes, I think so. Yeah. I'm bad at heights, but, but I remember seeing that in the mags and stuff, yeah. going, "Damn!" I, I, I remember, remember like that. The, yeah, Did you I see that. I, yeah, I th yeah that was that was crazy. Like the walls that they would like wall yeah. ride on. Like I remember like the first demo I ever went to before I even like thought of skateboarding. My buddies were skateboarders mm -hmm. and they took me to this demo. It was at this uh, skate shop called Sports Fever. I used to live in Palm Desert area, La Quinta uh -huh. area, and uh, all they had like it was this parking lot filled with kids, skater kids. And it was like Jesse Martinez and Jim Thebo. Yeah. Jim Thebo. And Jim Thebo was wa rocking the sweats with like the, uh, the, the, the rap bones yeah. going down. <laughs> he lived in those shit. He wasn't yeah, really he skating. The only person that was skating was Jesse Martinez. Oh, yeah. He probably skated And, and this, this jump ramp was like this high, like long, nice, long transition. And this dude was pushing from like oh, yeah. a block away for this jump ramp that was already going down a hill. And he was flying yeah. like it was mind-blowing like judos methods like just japan airs oh. like so high and so far yeah, every kid blast. was just i've like, seen him so high up 
Like, me, like, I, 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 I like going off the side yeah. of the jump ramp. I've never <laughs> seen anything like that yeah. before. Did it inspire you to skate jump ramps? Were you yeah, like, yeah, did it you did. But I wasn't, I, I, my jump ramps were a little smaller. Like, yeah. you know, these were like... Big ones. For, Almost for, quarter pipes, for, huh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it was flying off of them. It was cool, man. I, I, he could blast gnarly. We were just talking about him on the way here. It was like... It was early grabs, too. Yeah. yeah. No, of course it was. I was like... That was like animal chin days and all that. I never understood like how people like because there was that one point where people were doing the jump ramps, but they weren't doing early grabs, but they were still doing judos. Like mm -hmm. I remember seeing Mike Carroll doing like I could understand like an ollie off of it to, to Japan grab, mm -hmm. you know, or ollie to like uh, melancholy. But I couldn't understand like alling to like grab it and do a judo air you know and do shit like that so that was pretty cool mm -hmm. to yeah. kind of that's rad that. you got to see a, uh, that's a gnarly demo just that was Jesse that was himself. one of the gnarliest yeah. things i've ever seen and like uh, I, 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 and he had like a tank top on like one of those long tank tops <laughs> shorts and like airwalk shoes and he's just fucking pushing yeah. no that no he had converse chuck yeah. taylor's and he's just pushing just like the, some normal dude just blasting dude it was yeah he would kill himself at demos he'd give it like his all like, he was gnarly that's what he was one of my major inspirations jesse martinez yeah it, he was from venice beach yeah right? he grew up there his whole family's from venice but like he any demo dude he just it was gnarly so he was a major influence on my skating that's really cool uh, all out like skating fast Skate like or that. Die, yeah. No. Jesus. What was your favorite contest you ever entered that you still look back on like that was the one contest? Because mm. I know of a few contests that yeah. one I was at and then two, I, there's a video of it. So like Savannah Slamma yeah. is a good contest you were at i think maybe the first one yeah the first, the first one yeah I like that and one. then the other one was when skate zone moved oh yeah and it went to that second location mm, yeah and there was that over quarter pipe that was like 20 feet yeah. high and you were the only person grinding the ball yeah, in that one. Yeah, Krill slid in that one. That was a yes. big thing. Because that contest was kind of hard because I hadn't entered a pro contest in years. Yeah. And that was like the late 90s or something. And then I don't think anybody expected me to do good. Yeah. But I was a local there. I'd skate there all the time. I had the big wall rides and then the, the big cradle. And then I pulled that trail slide in that contest and then i stopped and i was like i'm done and everyone's like keep going but i was all stoned and all the crowd was down there i didn't want to skate down there i wanted to skate over here yeah and i was like no no and they're yelling at me keep going and i think i got like third or something you like, did get there i was there yeah oh, that right. was one skate contest i was yeah. there when i was like a kid yeah. watching it and i was like I couldn't even believe it that you did that. I was yeah. like, this is insane. Was this when you knew him? No, I oh, didn't, didn't know, know him, yeah. but I used to have Eric D's pictures like from magazines yeah. cut out all over my bedroom wall as a kid. That's rad. And the craziest thing is I knew Eric D's dad as a, when I was a kid, way before I even met yeah. Eric. Years before. How Years. did you know him? Somehow my old buddy Chuck found out uh, went to his house where his dad lived, and his dad was selling his used boards. What? Yeah, Dogtown <laughs> ones. And so Chuck Is that why, when you weren't skateboarding no more? No, I think I was riding for Dogtown. Oh, okay. yeah. Like, this is probably it, like, yeah, probably 80. 88, 89. Yeah. 88, 89. I think my dad was living in Hawthorne 90, yeah. at the time. 89, 90, because yeah. we were driving then. Oh, really? Right. Yeah, so it was yeah. 89, 90. And uh, Chuck, I was at my dad's, my dad's house that weekend. I come back. He goes, "Dude, I met up with Eric D's dad." I'm like, "How did you meet him?" Like, and he's like, "This guy knew him down the street." He goes, "Yeah, we can buy boards from him." So then I even went down. I got a board from him from his dad, and I tell you, I go, "Dude, I've seen this board before." So I had, it. I was gonna put it together and skate, which I did. And I went home and I looked on my wall. And support, yeah. That he skated in an wow. ad that I had on my wall. That's right. Right. Did it, did Dude, it have I, the stickers on there? All the stickers were all what, in there. Van stickers. There was Stussy. Stussy. I, I think Holy right. OJ and Independent. And OJ and Indy. Yeah, right. OJ and Indy and Stussy sticker. You wrote for Stussy, didn't you? For a little bit. Yeah, that's what he did. And you wore 
It was a sunglass company oh, too. Stylized. Stylized. That was the ad. That's so too. rad. And I had it. And then Eric, I guess, found out that we were nobodies back then. And Eric found out his dad was selling his boards and he goes, dude, give them their money back. You just <laughs> give them those boards. Oh. And we're like, no, 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 we're good. And, yes. we, and we used to take his dad driving around in, in this big blue car. We took him to lunch and everything. Mm. It was rad. I was like, yeah. well, I don't know Eric D, but I know his dad. So is, is that where you were born and raised in Torrance? Uh, no, I was, born, I was born right down the street here in Hollywood. Okay. And probably my whole family's from Inglewood and Venice. Mm. So I probably lived the first six years of my life in Inglewood, bounced around a little bit. And when I was eight, I ended up in Torrance. And that's when I started skating and stuff. And then I think the summer of 78, we moved to Santa Monica. And I stayed on that side of town most of my life. What was your favorite thing to skate? Like as far as like, it seems like when people were skating pools and doing all that, you were like, well, thrashing on the street just yeah well i grew up like i'm a kid of the 70s so we we're always just skating everywhere to get to somewhere skating schoolyard banks pools that was the whole thing we wanted to skate pools and full pipes and then just little quarter pipes Did you ever like, do salad grinds and pools because the salad grind seems like you're well, so on like top. recently recently okay. back then i didn't yeah i would never i was like oh you can't do them on the pool <laughs> coping. but now that they sauce up the like, yeah. coping back then we didn't know about sauce and coping and shit so, but yeah, but the funny thing is my dad likes we Man way more than he likes me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he loves him. No. Yeah. It's funny. I get jealous. <laughs> he's a cool dude. Bob, he's, right? Yeah. He's, your, yeah. he's your second dad. He's dad too. Oh, yeah. He's uh, like, oh. Yeah. No, he's cool. I love him. Yeah. It was so crazy <laughs> meeting him first. So Vans, those, those are the mid tops. Yeah, these are the Grosso ones. Those are fucking dope. Did you ever have a? Did they ever talk to you about having a shoe? I've had a couple of colorways. Okay, I had like, a, like maybe a couple of the Van Syndicate lines. You've been you've been a, like supporting them for yeah, such a long time. Like They've been supporting you seven too. Seven or eight, yeah. But like as far as like, damn, that would be so cool if you had. Yeah, I I think I recently had like with Boys of Summer. Yeah. They did like a collab with all the guys from the video, so I had a colorway with. With Ave, that's which cool. was pretty sick. That What's was, uh, what is uh, your is that your favorite van shoe? Or this did you, one, did you ever like the half cabs? I rode half cabs a lot back in the Those day. Are dope. I had some. Of the, I had that maybe the first sample pairs, or okay. maybe the full cabs back in like eighty eight or eighty nine. But now I've been riding the classic. I go. I went back to the yeah. set, the eighties and riding the classic thing. I was like the Chucka boots. Yeah, Chuckas were always dope. Those were good for a little while. I never liked the feel of ha of cabs or half cabs. Oh. They were too poofy on the sides yeah. for me. Like, really? I like, yeah. I always thought those shoes were more of a narrow shoe. The bands. It's were. a narrow shoe, but the material on the side was Got it. puffy. Got it. Yeah, yeah. I love the mids, the Grossos, my favorite shoe. Yep. What do you ride, Chucks? I don't. Well, I'm. I don't ride that well. What do you walk on? What do you go to the gym in? <laughs> I go to the gym in Vans, actually. I got the, uh, I, I got black, uh, I got the Vans like that, but they're... Uh, Workout shoes? Yeah, black, black uh, leather. Uh, the mm -hmm. black leather ones like that. Uh, okay. They're good for my ankles. And I like them because they're flat. Yeah. You know? Yep. After, whatchamacallit, let's see. So when you started tattooing, I want to go back to tattooing because you didn't dive into it too much. Uh, you apprenticed under a Japanese? Yeah, my, my friend Jiro. Uh-huh. Yeah. Where, where, where did you find Because you, you did shop stuff at Big Daddy's. Yeah. And then where did you go? I just met Jiro, and then he just had started a shop in, on top of the skate shop in Little Tokyo, a shop called Routes. Okay. And I just started becoming his helper. So I just helped him, and then eventually he offered me an apprenticeship, and I just learned all the, everything from the bottom up. Do you remember the first person you actually tattooed? I think so, yeah. Tony Loco, remember Tony Loco? Tony Loco. Uh, he wrote for an old star. Oh, uh, I remember Tony, Tony Loco. Loco. Yeah. yeah. I think I gave him his first tattoo. What was my it? first tattoo. What was Maybe it? just like a skull and crossbones on his arm. Uh, okay. And I think first I did like three dots on his knee. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was like, whoa, I did a tattoo. I was yeah. so stoked. And then I did like a skull and crossbone on his arm. 
So were you always an artist? Did you always draw? No, I, I just followed art or whatever. I knew what I liked and worked with art departments and stuff with my graphics. Okay, I, I was never ask, drew. did you design your graphics? Well, but then growing up, like from looking at Skateboarding Magazine and being obsessed with Dogtown, I'd always draw Dogtown crosses on my t table at school. So I'd practice all like writing Dogtown and like cholo lettering. And that was pretty much my art. You know, what's funny is like with Dogtown, like there's a lot of things... Uh, I did this podcast and it was like, I think it was because it was Joel Jimenez and Joel Jimenez is like a skateboarder too, comedian guy. Mm -hmm. And their whole thing was, uh, they call it Brown Town. But it was, uh, it said a dog town, Brown Town, but it was a cross, similar, exactly the same graphic, but called Brown Town. Yeah. It's only for Mexicans. <laughs> that one is. Yeah. Yeah. Are you Mexican? No. So why were you on? So I'm Latino. Oh, I can Latino? speak Spanish. None of those dudes can even speak Spanish. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> I'm but, the only one. Yeah, I think but, maybe Sal can, but no yeah, one else. Yeah, no, I hear you. Yeah, but with the apprenticeship, I learned how to draw. I learned how to start, you know, tracing, like tattoo flash, and train my hand. So, and then I learned to change things up. So I learned it all from, and I learned from watching. I'd just watch. I kind of learned like how I learned how to skate. Like I'd look at like skateboard like magazines when I was a little kid and then go out and emulate it. Yeah. So I'd watch Jiro tattooing and I'd watch how he moved and da, da, and then I applied that to That's me. That's pretty cool. Did, when you were, when you're saying the skateboarding, did you ever I used to I used to when we had the VHS tapes and I would see someone's skate park I, I that I liked and the, the certain tricks I would always rewind it over right. and over and over again to see how like their legs are like doing this, you know? Yeah, in the 70s, we only had Skateboarder Magazine, and I'd just sit there and stare at a picture. And then it was funny, like when I was nine, I could emulate every pro st that I liked style. When you were nine, who was your favorite skateboarder? Like Tony Alba. Tony Alba. Jay Adams, all the Dogtown guys, okay. um, like Pineapple and Wally Hall and uh, Tom Inouye. They were like all my favorite skateboarders. Really cool, I was obsessed with Dogtown. That was my dream. I just wanted to be a Dogtown Z boy. So, if you were obsessed with, were you part of like the Zephyr skate shop no, or any of that? No, or I hadn't. I, have anything to I do hadn't with moved to that side of town yet. Okay, I was in the South Bay at that time. Got but it. then, like, it was crazy because I was just a little kid obsessed with these guys. The next thing I you know, I'm skating with all of them. Um, I pretty much turned pro when I was ten. And I was in like one of my first contests I was in, the Zephyr team were in that contest. I was just looking at my, my first contest and the results and there was like Jim Muir, Stacy Peralta, Tony Alba, Jay Adams. And Eric D. Yeah, <laughs> so you were getting paychecks when you were 10 years old? Yeah. Fuck. From Logan. Yeah. Those skateboards don't Trump. even look like skateboards. Mm -hmm. like they, well, obviously they did, but they were just wood planks and the tail was like a wedge yeah, put in the back wedge. of it. It wasn't uh, even concave. wasn't even around yet. And this kid's pro skating. Hasoy and Oster and all those dudes were going to contests. Like, oh my god, we're in a skate contest. And Eric D's the little kid ripping it up. Uh, and they're like, dude, this guy's an influence. And now skates with them. That's really cool, man. Yeah. Wow. So. And then, like he was saying, he had all the guys' photos and he would emulate them. I was doing the same when I was a kid. I had him yeah. on my wall and yeah. I was trying to emulate him. And now you guys are skating <laughs> And then together. now we skate together. It's crazy. Hmm. Just think if we had each other's photos <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> and then we... I had skate. your photo on the wall and I'd just throw darts at it. <laughs> were you guys ever in a contest <laughs> together? We were in one contest like, this guy. Yeah. Yeah. We, we did one contest. What contest together. were you guys in against? San Jose a, contest. San Jose contest. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and it was kind of a shitty setup. It, it was. You know what it was though? It was like an old, like fucking, like, like backyard style setup. Like, like it was, it, like it, like it was like built ramps in this like. It was almost like a like a roller skating ring. Yeah, kind of thing. Just like jump ramps. They had like a little it, car that like. Oh. Uh, Mike Carroll did a backside 180 over the front yeah. of it. Wow. Yeah. And Proper they had some contest. quarter pipes and it was weird. It was it it wasn't like the San Francisco yeah. pond 
skate contest. Disco for skate. This was different. That was yeah. like the OG style. Like, yeah, the, it was kind of that. But yeah, back in the first contest, it was a jump ramp, a car, parking block. Yeah. Maybe a wedge ramp, maybe a quarter pipe. Yeah. I remember seeing, though, at that contest, I think Donger was at it or something. But I remember seeing him. It was the first time I ever seen someone ollie a picnic table. And it was like a regular size picnic table. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't a, mi a mini one. And this dude was just alling at like nothing. Yeah. Like it was really rad. Yeah, That's I, where I met him. Yeah. yeah. I miss those old contests, the old original street style. Yeah. They're, they seem so corporate now and so structured in yeah. a way where like I'm it's a, so robotic. Yes. Yeah, very robotic now. Yeah, I just like that because everyone was so creative and stuff. And I remember when I got back into skating and Oster was like, oh, we're going to a street contest. I was like, what's a street contest? He's like, oh, <laughs> they got a jump ramp, a car, parking block. And I was like, oh. And next thing I know, I'm at one of those contests. Next thing you know, you're loving <laughs> those contests. Yeah. yeah. Those, those but, obstacles. Yeah. Did you ever skate the Palace Skate Zone contest? Yeah, yeah. Did you ever enter the mini ramp ones? Like the I ones never with... entered. I entered the street one. Yeah. And I never entered a mini ramp contest there. But I loved that mini ramp. Dude, that mini Wade Spire. Oh, yeah. He's not. Killed that mini ramp. Yeah. Because I think right then when the Powell Zone opened, I just got my first, I bought my first new car. Yeah. So I'd go there and there was nowhere to skate in LA. So I'd oh, drive yeah. up there. Like during the riots, I'd drive up there and just hang out like during. <laughs> the LA riots hang out there and shit. Feel safe. Yeah, hang, out with, with, hang out with Frankie Hill and shit. Oh damn. That was sick. Yeah. Yeah. I remember the skate zone. We used to drive there all the time. That was the best. There was a skate contest there one time <laughs> in the street one. Mm -hmm. It was right when uh slit smaller T it was still like small wheels, yeah. big pants, but Tight T-shirts were coming around. Mm. Remember when people were starting yeah. to wear tighter T-shirts? Yeah. <laughs> that was when that skate contest happened. Yeah, I think I got second at the Pal one. Is that was that? Yeah, it that was, was like probably like during the question Christmas. Video. Like it was right around Christmas. I'm not sure. It was the week before Christmas. Because mm. I was supposed to work at ET and they didn't have me scheduled. Uh, and it was a Saturday and we jammed up to the contest. And they're like, how come we didn't show? We're like, we weren't on the list, so we just went to a contest instead. Oh, yeah. yeah. What were you saying, Pop? Mm -hmm. I said I, uh, with, the, with the, 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 the thinner shirts, I think that's when the questionable video came out. Yeah. Oh, wow. Because it's that's right like there. right as like the other, like a, a whole different era was yep. starting. Totally was right then. Like yeah. Vance didn't have the mid tops like yeah. that, but you saw Colin. Uh, McKay and Danny Wake making them in the mid tops yeah. and then putting duct tape over yeah, them. I do that. And yeah. that's what I, I did. I saw those guys. Oh, and yeah. I was like, this is way doper. Yeah. All the shoes were I copied that yeah. that time. Cut down my half cabs. Airwalk, half cabs, yeah. van, all the shoes were. It was crazy. And it was like a big change. And that's right when yeah. questionable. Game. Like the white, like the thinner white, white shirts. shirts. Yeah. And then the light blue jeans. Yeah. Yeah. Light blue jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Bleach your hair, not me. Yeah. So, we still good? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought you were looking at gave you like, oh, no, no, okay. No. We've got about 15 minutes. Oh, sweet. Perfect. Good in time. So then, there was an era you don't talk about. I haven't heard much, and it just hit me. Um, 151. No. Skate times. Yeah, that was around... The Skate Street Ventura contest. I was running for 151 at the time. Yeah. What is 151? Skateboards. It was, it okay. was an offshoot of Maple. Okay. Like Watson Wood that made a lot of boards at Wood Factory. They had Maple, like Donger wrote for Maple. Oh, yeah. And, and Jason Carney. Mark Johnson wrote for them. Yeah, too. Mark Johnson. So that it was the dudes that ran it, but they're all Hesh dudes. But they started their own little thing, like 151, which was super, super Hesh. It was gnarly. Did what? Who was the. Crazy dude who rode for 151. Oh, Pigpen or Pig Neil, and and Neil Head. Yeah, Headings. Yeah. I love Headings. Headings yeah, he's one of my favorite And Pigpen's dudes. rad, too. Yeah. I didn't really know Pigpen, but I know Neil. Yeah. And Neil's good. Yeah. How, long were, how long were you on 151 for? Maybe a year or two. Yeah, that was a short-lived Yeah, it, it got a little gnarly on trips, so I think... And then it went... That and, sounds uh, like a gnarly tour. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, the yeah, hell yeah, are you guys yeah, doing? Pigpen. I was like, well, I was like... <laughs> 
But then I think Jim was starting up Dogtown again right before we brought you on. Yeah. So I left there to go back to Jim and so. Got it. That's that was right then. Yeah. Because that was right before when I saw you at the. Yeah. Yep. Skate Zone right Two then. contest. So <laughs> crazy. Our paths crossed so many times, yeah. but never like really connected. And then it finally did. Yeah, I feel like I saw you skating in Venice one day, and I was like, oh, that must be to do my dad knows. And then I turned around, and you were gone. So uh, I, did, I was yeah. going to go introduce myself. I was just thinking about that the other day. <laughs> were you? Like, yeah. Oh, crazy. Mm -hmm. Yep. We went to Japan together in Dogtown. Yeah, we did. Yeah. My first time to Japan. That was your first time? Was with Dogtown. What, yeah, what year was that? Uh, this was, was right before Jackass. Yeah, ninety eight. Right wow. before ninety eight, yeah. we went. Yeah. And then karaoke. I don't remember. Was there really good skate spots out there? There Dude. was. So I remember doing like <laughs> demos out there, but like they were <laughs> built. <laughs> yeah, we skated that one quarter pipe and like ledge, and we skated a few things. Yeah, I just thinking of so many times I've gone that the different things I've skated. Yeah, because I've gone with Grind King. I went with Dogtown. I've gone with Monster Energy. I've went with Jackass. So I've been to Japan so many times. Yeah, but now there's r tons of rad stuff to skate there. I now. bet. Yeah, tons of rad skaters coming out of there. Oh like, yeah, just I think it was next level skaters uh, coming yeah. out of there. Yeah. I think right with the Tokyo Olympics, they started building all these new parks. So now there's tons of new stuff to skate over there. The girl, the girl that we were talking about uh, the other day. The, the Asian Japanese girl with yes. Christopher. Yeah. She she's the girl from Japan that frontside K grinded the Hollywood sixteen. Oh yeah. That's gnarly. Frontside crooked grinded Hollywood sixteen. Gnarly. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean she, but in her contest she does it on everything. Oh, like yeah. like it's they got others. It's yeah. just like it's Yeah, I was at a meeting with my Japanese tattoo manager and his town wanted to get a skate park. So we went to this meeting, I'm with the city council and mayor. And I was like, oh, you guys, um, well, Japan's going to win the gold medal. And they all, oh, really? Oh, they kind of laughed. They're like, nah. And then next thing you know, they won all the gold medals. S skateboarding, skateboarding is like weird in a way, like at least I, for you guys as well, too. Like for me, like there was like a time where like, like where I didn't know how to do a regular backside 5-0 grind on a ledge or like a cur like a higher like a, a higher curb or ledge, but I could do it switch because that's the, just the way I learned it. And I think it's like the same thing even with like K grinds. You learn them like a frontside K grind, but you can't do a regular K grind, but it's that's just like right. certain yeah. tricks work better for you. Oh, like, yeah. yeah, there's some tricks I couldn't even do. You get so mad. And then, yeah, I can't think of any offhand, but I tried skating switch so hard, tried doing all in the early 90s, kick flip to no slides. I got so frustrated. It, it was, it, it was, it, it, it is, it can be frustrating. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a lot of work. Yeah. yeah. But some people went out late at night and put that work together. Practice. Yeah. I tried yeah. practicing. There was a time I remember you said you only, you would only go and skate at night. Yeah. You were always like, I'm only skating now. You want to skate with me? Skate Why's at night. That? Just cause like LA back in before, like, it was so dead at night, so you could just go skate all the like buildings, not get kicked, not out. get kicked out. And I worked all day, and then at night, just had the whole city to yourself. That's and, really cool. Yeah, because I hated always getting kicked that, out of places. That, that, that's one thing that I noticed when I moved out here was like Los Angeles, like downtown LA, is dead at night. Yeah. Like it's absolutely like it would be the best time to skate. Yeah, back in the '90s or '80s, it was on the weekends dead. It was ghost town. There was just like, I'm sure it's a little different now. Now it's yeah, packed. There's... Yeah, it was before all the hipsters and all that stuff went down there and took over. But it was just dead. Like we, me and Nas would go down there and skate little Tokyo, skate around and just be dead. There wouldn't be anybody around. I was so sick. But now this town's 24 hours. Yeah. It's nuts. Before the Staples Center, before yeah. all that. Yeah. What's your uh, favorite spot to skate now? Like, where, where do you like going now? No, I just like parks now, mainly. Yeah. And bowls. But mainly, you know, we skate Fred's Bowl, Fred yep. Morales Bowl. Yeah. By my house, a little wood mini ramp. Because I always loved mini ramps. That has always been my favorite thing. Yeah. And then pools. And then... My friend Angelo's pool up in Malibu, Lance Mountain, built. It's super sick. It's like a clover, right? Yeah, clover pool. Nice. So I used to skate all the old guys. 
<laughs> we got like a gnarly old guy crew, like Lance Mountain, Howard Hood, and Lonnie Hiramoto, and all those guys. So we skate peck on the weekends. It's always like the old guy meet up, meet up at bands on Saturday morning, meet up at Brea Park, or go skate La Quinta Park. Yeah. Mm -hmm. La Quinta has a park? Yeah. Dude, yeah. Mega I gonna, park. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, where you grow up is a huge park now. Oh. It, has its own, it has a combi bowl. Has a full street course with mini ramps, has two pump tracks. Like wow. if you like if you live in that area, you're gonna. So there's a lot of skaters there. I mean, there yeah, was yeah. back in the day. Yeah, no, it's a it's a good spot. It's uh, pretty fun. There's a lot of uh, good stuff for everybody. You grew up in La Quinta. I went to uh, mm -hmm. junior high. Oh, uh, really? Like a couple of years there in La Quinta, and. Uh, but the skate shop that I skated for was mm. uh, called Sports Fever, mm. and that was in Palm Desert, and that's where mm. I saw my first skate demo right. that I was talking about with uh, Jesse Martinez. That's so sick. But uh, yeah, but uh, then I moved to the East Coast my freshman year, mm. and I was living in uh, Jersey uh, throughout my whole high school year until like the end of um, senior year. Then I moved to San Jose. Mm. And that's when you got on Think? Yeah, no, I got on Think before oh. when I was in high school, oh, right. and then I got kicked off, and then I got back on like a couple of years later. Oh, sick! He sent Greg Carroll a sponsor me video. Oh, really? Yeah, I was, yeah, from the East Coast. I didn't know about any of that. How to get sponsored? It was more oh, of my right. friends going, "Dude, you should make a video." I'm like, "What's that?" Like I thought that was just like for the the pros, and so we made a video and I sent it to like. Four different, three different companies, mm -hmm. and then throughout like six months, I got sponsored by all of them. Right. It was really cool. Mm -hmm. That's sick. Yeah, but it was uh, it was cool, man, to have friends that were. That's one cool thing about the skateboard community. Like everyone is so supportive of each other. Mm -hmm. You know, I always feel like when my buddies make it, I made it. You know, Not even too. you know, mm -hmm. and then you eventually do with skateboarding. Yeah, you know? right just, place, right time. Just gotta be there. Just make sure you're. Fucking skating hard, man. <laughs> yeah, no dangles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing you, Fudge. You guys got some inside thing? Yeah, I teased He fun. saw one video, like in my Sponsor Me video, like oh. they ended up using some of my footage from my Sponsor Me <laughs> video in a, in a Think video. And I do a front side no slide. The ledge is like this high. And I do a front side no slide and I'm somewhat dangling on it. And he just <laughs> clowns me for it. <laughs> he wasn't somewhat dangling. Uh -huh. He was dangling. It counted back then, dude. <laughs> Those he, days. He, he I seen dangling. someone, a uh, footage of uh, this guy, Yuri. I, for, I can't pronounce his last name, so I'm not going to say yeah. it because okay. I want to butcher it. But it's new footage. And he's fucking good as hell. But he gnarly backside tail slides and legs that must be like this high. And he's like, he's not on it. He just kind of like... Like dangles. just kind of not that doesn't even dangle. Oh, he kind of just uh, slides his tail across. It. Yeah, he, he grazes, grazes it, it, and then he comes down and continues doing the stuff. And I'm like, that counts. <laughs> he grazed it. He grazed it. Fuck, it was this really guess, high. I guess it's like they say it, it counts in horseshoes, hand grenades, and dangles and grazing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know I'm teasing, but I love you, bro. I know. It's just some certain it's, tricks are hard to like. Like, uh, lock stick in. on, lock in, and just stay on for a long time. Yeah, especially yeah. frontside ones. Yeah. Like frontside rail slides, frontside no slides. Yeah. I always felt do you, you slipped out. Do you with rails? Lately I've been okay. using, but I, I haven't tried rail slide. <laughs> <laughs> like on a mini ramp, it seems like it would just fucking. Yeah, I haven't tried like any board slides in so long. Did you ever, did you ever skate with birdies? Did you ever have birdies on the the board? Lapper. Oh, a lapper. Maybe. Is that what they're called? Maybe I right they're in the birdies. No, they're lappers. Maybe lappers. in the seventies when they first came out. Okay. I might have got one because I think they came out in seventies, and I might have had one on one board for like a second, but I never really. What the hell were birdies for? To like not have to ollie up a curb? Oh. Uh, um, I think not. it was like for even. On ramps, yeah. dirt ramps, not to hang so, up. Yeah, so you didn't oh, hang god. up. Oh god, yeah, especially so in the seventies. Before 70s. you had noses, like you don't have to like, yeah, worry about like locking. Yeah, yeah you so like have... disasters and stuff would come in or lip slides. They would help yeah. them come in. I never rode one. Used them in the eighties or anything like that. But 
So I never used them either. Protect your kingpin, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what were the gro- uh, what were the trucks called that had the rolly? Z rollers, Z rollers, Z rollers. Did, did you ever skate any Z roller trucks? No, no. I was Neither on did independent I. back then. Uh, did you? No. Yeah. The only person we knew uh, day one was a local hero guy, and he was on Z roller. Yeah. So. If you rode for Z, they made you ride. Yeah, Z rollers. rollers. If you rode for what? Z Z, Z skateboards. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think what Z, the hell is Z skateboard? It, I it's, think it's more of an L.A. South Bay. Well, Z was board. like the offshoot of Zephyr. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So after Zephyr went out of business, they started Z Flex, and then it turned into this Z. And they was, were and they were the ones that made the Z roller trucks too. Uh-huh. Since you're so familiar with like the Dogtown days, yeah. was that was that Lords of Dogtown? Was that pretty spot on? Pretty much. Really. Like it really captured the like that year, like seventy seven, seventy eight. Like if you went to Santa Monica, you really felt that and like the backyard scenes from the seventies, it's all the long haired kids jumping over fences. It seems That's so all we were cool. doing. Yeah. I like that vibe. It was rad back then. It's such misfits, dude. It was hardcore, like just Oh, it was not no right. cell phones to tell on you. You just got to do what you wanted to do. Yeah. That's when kids were getting knuckled punched if you cut off like one of the oh, yeah. older dudes oh god yeah. yeah like you respected your elders skating now you can't even do that oh yeah i would never dream of <laughs> snake snake and I, you guys i feel like people still respect their elders skateboarding right? no, yeah but kids nowadays like they'll cut you off and you can't do nothing about it oh yeah back when <laughs> i back in the 70s we went to the park and all the z-boy guys there be lucky to get a ride because they're snaking each other It'd just be all day long at the skate park, Marina yeah. Skate Park, the Dog Bowl. It would be all day long. Just those guys, <laughs> Brad Bowman, Tony Alba, Billy Euron, Jimmy Plumer, Shogo Kubo, everyone just snaking, snaking. I, mean, they, I was lucky to get a ride here and there, and that's funny. They never took a break either. Hack it and all that. Did you come up with the wall ride without the wall uh, without the wall ramp? It's kind of weird. Like I don't know who, who I, invented I, that because that's fucking awesome. Yeah, we had. I always thought Kevin Anderson at ET. That's what I heard in the seventies. There was like uh, it was like a rumor, like in like seventy seven. Like, he did a wall. Streets ride. of Fire. Yeah. Nottis was doing it in yeah. that alley, but yeah. the, the there was like this, a, a bank to yeah, it. Yeah, this is way before the yeah, this the dude s- Kevin Anderson, yeah. aka the Worm. He. He never rode a concave board. He, yeah, he rode only rode flat boards. boards. That were like, like this. So no, yeah. But a tail. No. no. Maybe a little one. It's just like a two by four. Yeah, pretty much. He rode the thinnest boards. And yeah. Shit. yeah. And hated concave. And he thinks he. I heard, I never, I always meant to ask him. But you know, like when you're kids, there's just rumors yeah, about yeah, pro yeah, skateboard. Yeah. So I heard he did it. And then one time, or the guy, the stoner kid that got me a job, and like, we were like, he was in the bank, and I was sitting there looking at this wall, and I was like, I just pretend there's a rant, a quarter pipe there. I could, and I went and I'm like, boop boop, and he came out. Well, look what I did. I'm like, boop boom. He's like, oh yeah, dudes are doing that down in Venice, and then I went down to <laughs> Venice, and everybody was doing it. Like uh, yeah, yeah, all yeah, the guys yeah. are down there. So yeah, but I don't take credit for it. You but I was around all that. But not it's kind of crazy how. how- Crazy how wild it's gotten nowadays with like people like doing them now like it's like a, like an ender trick you know like alling down a flight of stairs and doing like a wall ride ollie the wall ride over the rail and then pop off oh, yeah I'm like that is fucking sick it's one of my favorite tricks I see people do these days it's like that one's badass yeah I always like the quarter pipe to wall and that ride. that's another weird one because right. with a regular wall ride like that you're doing from flat with no wall, you're yeah. like slapping up the wall. Yeah. You know, with these other ones, you're alling, which is weird to like, all, like, cause how do you get your board to like go, you know, it's, it's rad. I, I'm yeah, just yeah, saying, yeah. I'm like, it's a whole thing, like with the early grabs to like all, you know, like it's like shit. Yeah, I guess back then in Venice, there was nothing to skate unless somebody brought down a quarter pipe and it'd just be like, 
everyone just like ah and they started doing wall rides and i i remember that and i remember it was being like uh, it was almost like on a handball board yeah. like you know where people play handball they would just yeah, set up yeah. a ramp there and do yeah because there's the one place where everyone hung out and down venice they either hung out in this one little area like where they filmed thrashing where they had the quarter pipe and everyone's like get out of here coop go back to the valley that little area or the main thing where everyone hung on the wall so you skated that area yeah i was living down there. were you were you in thrashing for like two seconds. Okay. I was like in the downhill section. You know what's funny about Thrashing is that the, the guy, the, the, the other lead actor, the yeah. bad guy, yeah. Robert Rustler, yeah. Yeah. who's a, he, I, I actually, he was one of my first acting teachers. Yeah. 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 He yeah. was great, man, because if he, if it, like he would get frustrated, like if you weren't like doing what, like, and then he would go up and do it. <laughs> and you'd be like, <laughs> okay, now I get it, you know, because sometimes you don't understand. You don't get their direction. Yeah. That they're, they're I doing. actually asked him for acting lessons. Really? He's, he's great. Man. I, he used to uh, but, run this place called the Hollywood Playground. Yeah. yeah. He grew up with Scott Oster. Yeah. And stuff. They all went to Westchester. And, what, and like I, Steve Olson, too? Oh, I think he hung out with okay. Olson and stuff. Right. But they, he grew up with Scott Oster and Westchester. Yeah, and then shout hung out, out to Robert Rustler. Yeah, he's the shit. He's my homie. Yeah, yeah he's the That's best. That's crazy. Like, so and I, then I, him and Hosoi were like that really? back in the 80s. And 90s. I remember one of the acting classes, he... Uh, he brought in, um, like, as like a guest. Uh, what's his name? The guy, the the lead actor in Thrashing, Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin. Josh God Brolin. Damn it. This old people get. God, dude. This is that, only gonna get worse when you. It's only gonna get worse. That when you forget. Suck. Josh, Josh Brolin. Yeah, he came in yeah. and he observed, and it was really rad. Everyone yeah. was so intimidated. Is he? Was he the guy that was in North Shore? No, he wasn't. The That's same, right? Thanos, dude. Oh. Like he's... He's been in a lot of shit. All right. Yeah. Well, anyways, on that okay. note, we're getting into acting careers and big actors. That's what uh, Ponch wants to be. Comedy, actor, skater, yeah. podcaster. That's podcaster, your... yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to thank my boy Eric D. Oh, for dude, coming thank you out. so thank much, you man. It was great man, to dude. have you. It's super great. You guys are killing it, dude. We're trying. I'm really excited for you guys. Uh, it's I love talking about skateboarding, man. <laughs> yeah, and you you know so much about it. Like, yeah, it's been my whole life. It's all pretty much the only thing I know. Add that and tattooing. Yeah, a little bit of tattooing. And the <laughs> bathhouses. <you know. laughs> well, we're gonna get you in one. <laughs> so I'll teach ready. you all. The, yeah, <laughs> we're have a little class. <laughs> we'll teach you the secrets. <laughs> Anyways, we want to thank Eric. Great time, and uh, we want to thank our one and only sponsor right now, Nima. It's a supplement. You can get it at, it's a N-I-I-M-A, and go to Nima.com, get uh, yourself some supplements. Yeah. Put in the coupon code L-I-L-R-E-V, and- uh, 15% off? No, 15. That's what I said, 15%. Oh, okay, I thought you meant 15. 15% off. You said 15. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you'll feel good. Yeah. All right, thanks everybody. Thanks, Bob. Awesome.